Over the years, I've done a ton of videos on Octoprint and Octoprint plugins. And one of the plugins and services that I've talked about quite a bit is Octo Everywhere, but I've never done a dedicated video on it. Over those years, Octo Everywhere has grown hugely to the point that it's now handling around 50 web requests every second, and it's got some exciting new features around the corner. So I thought I would do this video where I talk about what Octo Everywhere is, what it can do, and why it may make your 3D printing life a lot easier. So let's have a look. Before I start talking about Octo Everywhere, I should probably explain what Octo Print is for those of you who aren't familiar. Octo Print is a free open source software usually running on a Raspberry Pi, but it can be run on a huge range of devices, which then acts as a mini server, which connects to your printer via USB. It then allows you to wirelessly connect to your printer using a mobile phone or computer and allowing you to upload and start prints, control your printer, monitor it via a webcam connected to the server device, and even capture time lapses. Octoprint makes it so much easier to manage and monitor your prints in general, but really shines where it allows you to do this without having to be sat right next to your printer. By default, Octoprint is accessible within your home network, and whilst you can technically set it up to natively be accessible outside your home network, it's not necessarily the simplest of processes, and if done incorrectly, could result in some major security concerns. That's where Octo Everywhere really steps in here. Connecting Octo Everywhere to your Octoprint account is really easy, and then allows you to securely connect to your printer and all of the settings from wherever you are. Octo Everywhere isn't just compatible with Octoprint, it's also compatible with any printer running Clipper via Mainsail or Fluid. In this video, I'm going to be referring to Octoprint because that's what I'm using, but by that I basically mean any of these systems. But Octo Everywhere isn't just a convenient way to access your printer remotely. It also adds a ton of functionality to any printer you connect it to, including some which are otherwise only exclusive to the latest generation of 3D printers. One of the biggest ones in this area would be their AI failure detection system, which they have lovingly named Gadget. Using the webcam connected to your Octoprint server, Gadget monitors your print and if it notices a potential issue with your print, it will notify you wherever you are and potentially even pause the print and await your command whether you want to continue or cancel the print. Which brings me on to the cost. Now there are a couple of other similar services out there, but not only is Octo Everywhere one of the OGs in this field, but of the three pricing tiers they offer, one is completely free and includes unlimited remote access, unlimited use of their AI gadget, real-time notifications of the status of your prints, a bunch of other features, some of which I'll be talking about in a minute, and this free tier will also cover up to three printers. This means that you can continue to monitor your prints whilst you're out of the house, and still have complete manual control of your printer setup, whilst also having the confidence that if something does go wrong with your print, hopefully the AI is going to notice it and let you know. It also includes a really cool feature which allows you to generate links and securely share live streams of your print with friends, family, or anyone. That doesn't mean, however, that the free tier is perfect and there's definitely some compromises here. For me, the biggest one being on the free tier, the AI will keep an eye out for potential print errors and if it detects one, it will notify you to let you know. But if you upgrade to the supporter tier, which is currently $3.49 a month, then you'll get access to a smarter, more advanced version of Gadget, which is better error detection. And if it does detect an error, not only will it notify you, but it will also pause the print before things get out of hand. Another big upgrade that you get with the supporter tier is with the free one, if you're watching a live stream of your print, it is limited to a 20 second window. At the end of that 20 seconds, you can just immediately click to start another 20 second live stream. But with the supporter tier, that window is extended to two minutes at a time. Also, if you generate live links to share with others, with the free tier, whilst the option is available, it will play back at a reduced frame rate. In the supporter tier, however, it will play back at the full frame rate. And for those lucky ducks that have too many printers to be covered by the free tiers three printer limit, the supporter tier will cover up to five printers along with a bunch of other features. There's also an elite support tier which allows your webcam streams to run uninterrupted for up to 24 hours, larger limits for upload and download, and covering up to 10 printers simultaneously. Now we've got the prices and tiers out the way, let's take a closer look at what this can actually do. 
The first thing to talk about is that Oxo Everywhere allows you to remotely monitor and control your whole printer setup wherever you are. Like I said before, you can technically set up OxoPrint natively to be accessible outside your home network, but it's not necessarily the easiest of processes to follow and it can raise some security concerns. Whilst nothing online is ever 100% secure, Octo Everywhere provides an easy and secure way of accessing your entire printer portal setup. The live link generation is a cool feature because the link that you share and the stream that your audience watches isn't in any way tied to your printer or your IP address. There's also a range of some nice optional settings when you're setting up the stream. You can give it a title so your audience knows which stream they're watching if you have multiple simultaneous streams. You can set the stream and therefore the link to automatically expire at the end of your current print and then you don't need to worry about the audience that you're sharing with still being able to view through your printer's camera in the future. Alternatively, you can set the stream to automatically expire in a set amount of time, whether it be hours or days, or you can set it to never expire, so the same link will always have access to that printer's camera. You're able to have as many simultaneous links as you want, so you could set up some links that expire at the end of the print, and then you could have another link that you share with different people that never expires. The final two optional settings is to include a link to the model that you are currently printing and the filament that you're printing with. This might be a nice way of avoiding being flooded with questions for something that could be easily answered here. Once you're happy with your settings, you can click create live link, then you can copy the link from here and share it with whoever you like. When someone clicks on the link, they'll see something very similar to your quick view, except they won't have any access to controlling your printer. I'll occasionally be sharing live links to my own 3D prints with my channel members. If you'd like to see them and get access to exclusive 3D Revolution goodies like our Discord community, you can hit the join button below the video and become a 3D revolutionary. Right, back to Octo Everywhere. Probably the most talked about Octo Everywhere feature is the AI print failure detection gadget. This feature is heavily used in marketing for newer generation printers such as those from Bamboo Labs, many of which have AI print failure detection built in. But using Octo Everywhere coupled with OctoPrint or Clipper and a webcam, you can add this invaluable tool to pretty much any FDM printer. With it turned on, it will monitor the webcam feed for your connected printers whilst they are actively printing and it will analyse in real time to try and detect potential errors with your prints. This can be an invaluable tool giving you an extra little bit of mind that if you're not able to monitor your print the whole way through and something doesn't look quite right, Gadget is going to notice it and let you know so you can intervene before something gets catastrophically out of hand. As with all of these AI tools, it can cause false positives where it flags an issue and actually everything is fine or potentially there is an issue and it hasn't quite noticed it. When setting it up, however, you can set it to one of five levels of confidence. At the lowest end, it'll basically trigger if it feels there's the slightest chance that something's gone wrong. And at the highest end, it will only trigger if it's absolutely positive. So you can adjust this to find out what works best for you. And even if it does get the occasional false flag, it's always improving as it's constantly learning from the prints that it's watching. In the past six months alone, Gadget has watched and analyzed over 1,800 years worth of prints. The performance of Gadget will definitely be affected by which camera you're using, the angle and position of the camera, how well lit the printer is, and even the surrounding environment. If you have a cluttered background in the video, especially if it involves previous failed prints, this could result in false flags, or it could mask a real problem, so make sure you take all of this into account when you're setting it up. If you're using the free tier, Gadget will notify you of a potential problem, if, however, you're using the supporter tier, you can also have Gadget pause your print, at which point you can then view a screenshot of your print in its current state, which will be attached to the notification, and choose whether to continue printing or cancel the print. This can be a great way of avoiding converting an entire spool into a kilo of filament due to a failure just after you went out or went to sleep. Now, I should reiterate that as useful as this tool is, and it really is a great protection method to have in place, it isn't infallible and nothing beats keeping an eye on your print yourself, which you can still do remotely using Octo Everywhere. Now, whilst the free tier does allow you to have all of this access from your mobile phone remotely, and you can even save the web page to your home screen to use it more like an app, 
using the supporter tier allows you to directly integrate Octo Everywhere with a whole range of Android and iOS apps, including OctoPod, Octo App, and my personal favorite, Printoid. Connecting your Octo Everywhere account to the app allows full app functionality to run wherever you are. And one element of Printoid I've always loved that makes me feel like some sort of hybrid between Dick Tracy and General Jumbo from the Beano is the ability to have full control of my printer, including selecting and starting prints directly from my watch and even view live video feed on there. Live notifications of the status of your prints is nothing new, but the scale of options that you get in Octo Everywhere really does open up the potential of what you can do with them. Octo Everywhere gives a huge range of methods for receiving notifications, and all of these are available in the free tier other than SMS. You can also set different notifications to different destinations, so you could have general updates sent to emails, but a notification of a potential failure sent to Telegram so you can see it quicker. Not only can you be notified when print finishes or experiences an error, but you can be notified for a whole range of reasons, such as a certain time interval like 1 hour or 10 hours, or a percentage of the print such as 10% or 50%. However, one thing that I think a lot of people would find particularly useful is you can be notified when your filament has run out or it's time to change to a different filament. If you're doing manual filament changes throughout your print, for example for color changes, without having a way to be notified when you need to do this, you need to monitor your print the whole way through, which is far from convenient, so this makes that much smoother. A nice quality of life feature is Quick View. Instead of having to open and load the entire Octoprint web portal, you can just jump into Quick View where you get a live webcam feed, the stats of your print including the temperatures and times and estimated completion, and even the current confidence level of gadget. It makes it really nice to just quickly glance at your phone and check up on your print. For those of you who have a number of printers which you run at either a school or a shared workspace or something, there's a cool feature which allows you to temporarily share control of a printer with other users for a set amount of time. So if you had someone book out a printer for a day, you could then just create a connection for that person and they would then be able to access and have full control of that printer until either it expires if you've set their access to expire or you manually revoke it. This could be a great feature allowing you to easily control who has access to what printers and when. If you'd like to give this a try with Octoprint but haven't yet set Octoprint up, I've already got a tutorial taking you step by step through this process. Setting up Octo Everywhere with Octoprint is incredibly easy and as simple as installing a plugin and following the instructions. But if you'd like a tutorial on how to set up Octo Everywhere, do let me know in the comments below. Either way, I am planning on doing a much more in-depth video on Octo Everywhere as more of a tutorial explaining how to use each of its features. This is a general overview of Octo Everywhere to let you know about a tool which you may not have already been aware of and how it might be able to make your life that little bit easier. For many of you, that free tier is going to be more than enough for what you need and it will be game changing. But if you do need those extra features, that supporter tier costs less than a pint of beer a month, which is significantly less than you might save from wasted filament due to failed prints. I really hope you guys found this video useful and that your maker's dens are becoming the back caves of your dreams. Do mash those like and subscribe buttons, it'll make my day, and make sure you get 3D Revolution goodness in your feeds in the future. As always, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. Don't forget you can now join the channel supporting me and getting access to exclusive goodies like my 3D revolutionaries here by hitting the join button below the video and following the instructions. If you're already a member or aren't yet ready to join, why not check out one of my other videos? You can learn how to set up Octoprint or take a closer look at the Printoid app. Either way, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing.